window framing. Um, we got one by fours of pine board just so it's nicer. You can kind of see it's smoother. You can rub your hand on it without getting a splinter. Um, because we knew we were gonna be seeing it in the wall. Um, and then I stained it to match the ceiling which also, also matches the floor. Then what we did after we made this box, you can see the little corners that we have here on all four sides. We just did that and it, it took a little while, um, but we got a quarter inch piece of small plywood. Um, you can like, it's very flimsy, you can kind of hear that. And then we cut out of the corners after tracing the corners of the window frame and the window itself uh, with just a simple piece of paper. that we use the jigsaw to form these little shapes and then it took us a few times with trimming the edges and trimming this to make sure the entire thing fit on both sides um, and then that way you don't actually see the wall or the kill mat because we messed up on that before behind the window. like so you can kind of see on the corners it's a little dark but you can see how it looks more finished instead of just leaving that open that would look kind of silly and then the same for up here so when I back up it looks like a finished window um, um, and then let me explain what we are going to do with the rest so then we have our frame here and in order to make it actually work with the wall Took us like an hour and a half to figure out with the shiplap because we got a piece kind of mess around to mess around with things, which I also can't find. You know where a piece of ship? Oh, well, we were messing around with this. We were trying to make sure that it was straight because if we went from here down, it was going to be at an angle here on the side, which would look a little silly. But we finally figured out how to do it. We put a one by three here right under um, the framing we did a while ago. So then when this goes in, it'll be cut. But there will be a little bit of a lip on the window frame itself. And then from there, we have two of these. Which I'm not sure why that's so tall. That, that board wasn't in there on the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to go in once we cut it, and it's going to be <laughs> flush with this part. We just added this, so I'm confused. Um, and then there's going to be another board. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that goes across underneath and attaches the two boards under the window. Um, to make sure it's secure and then that we can put the shiplap around the entire thing. 
Um, and then what we also did to make sure that it's straight, because we were having issues with this, we put pieces of wood there, and that's skinnier than a, what was this? A one by? Cut a one by two. No, it was a one by three. Or a one by three. Yeah, we but made it skinnier. So we took a one by three and then made it skinnier so that it was even with the bed frame so we don't have issues with that down the road. And then our little pillars are gonna come and attach under here for extra support. build uh, with the subfloor, the framing, um, the insulation. Obviously we haven't done all the insulation but I already bought it so we're going to include that. The vent fan and then installing the windows and the wi window framing. I have spent $2,481.16 so that's where I'm at at this point um, but that's only going to grow with electric so that just hopefully gives you a good idea of what you'll be spending up until this point. 